Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selectors Hub. Request you please subscribe to the channel if you are new here so that you don't miss any upcoming updates on Selectors Hub, Test Case Studio and such kind of conceptual videos. Great, thank you. So does XPath support tilted code or what kind of codes XPath supports like when we have to surround our string value in XPath what kind of codes we can use and in fact like you might be surprised that Sanchev why this kind of video and uh, do we really need this thing this is very simple just code we used to uh, code we use like single quote or double quote we use to surround the value right and th that's true like we never observe this thing but trust me, it has because of this issue, many a times unknowingly we waste a huge, huge amount of time just to figure it out uh, that there is something wrong in our X path. <laughs> if you see that, let me tell you, our X path supports only the vertical codes, not the tilted one. Tilted code is not supported by X path. Only vertical codes are supported, like whether that is a single code or double code. X path supports both, like single code and double code both. But it supports only the vertical one, not the tilted one. Now see uh, what does that mean. And also, let me show you what is the like percentage of people uh, who are aware about this fact. You can see that these are some of the polls which I have done on different platforms. So almost like in each and every platform, almost like 50% people have given the wrong answer. And in fact, I mean, it's not I would say wrong answer. I would say that uh, the awareness about of about this, that which kind of codes are supported by X path. And in fact, like I'm sure like many of many people might have might just not uh, just got to know that uh, that there are different types of quotes as well to surround the value there is like single quote and double quote we know right many of you will get to know that oh there is a tilted quote and vertical quote as well there is a difference in that as well so you see that uh, this is the poll here which kind of quotes are supported by x path to surround the string value this is on linkedin and 52 percent people gave the right answer rest like uh, some says that tilted quote, some says like both, some says none, and there are like 345 quotes, so almost good amount of voting has been done there. Then uh, same poll I did on YouTube channel, where like uh, this is a selectors of platform, uh, I mean XPath platform where people learn all about XPath selectors, everything, but yet there also almost like more than 70% uh, people gave the wrong answer, surprisingly. Then on Twitter also, I had the poll, more than 60 percent people almost like more than 50 percent people are given were not aware about the fact about this code thing same i did on telegram selectors of telegram group as well they are also like almost uh, 50 percent people were not aware about this fact so i thought like why not to create a tutorial and let the people understand what kind of code is supported by x path and which one is correct which one is not correct when we write the uh, automation script so for that like <coughs> i uh here i will show you on this page i have created one page by the way if you are not aware this xpath practice page which has all the complex scenarios related to uh to practice the xpath automation like shadow dom complex shadow dom scenarios close shadow dom iframe etc everything it has so just go through this page and try to automate this page you will trust me you will learn a lot and you will feel a lot of confidence and it will be really fun to automate this page so do check out this the url is selectorsub.com xpath practice page okay so suppose if we want to write an xpath for let's suppose this element here so this is the xpath which is selectorsub has generated double forward slash input at the rate id is equal to user id perfect if we copy this xpath and i paste it here let me just show you so you see that this x path is working fine absolutely and here also it is working fine correct now if i change this so actually the fact is uh, the thing is like when you type in uh, when you write something some text or something 
you, whatever what kind of editor you are using that depends like sometimes the editor which we are using they used to convert these single code to the different kind of codes double codes to a different kind of code what we type the editor changes the value of those uh, things so this is one of the example here this is a mac editor default where if i uh, delete this single quote you observe this single quote this is vertical right now if i delete this and type the single quote here i'm typing now and when i will type it will be vertical but immediately this editor will change that value to the tilted quote observe this you see it has changed that let me do it again you see that it has changed this single quote now if we copy and paste this x path here you see that <laughs> selectors are is letting you know that this is an invalid x path and x path doesn't support tilted quote tilted single quote or double quote it will show both of them and use the vertical quote so here <laughs> this single quote if you change this now it will be fine correct one and trust me with the bare eyes if you ask anyone is this x path is correct or not we as a human being will never be able to like not easily at least we'll be able to identify okay there, there's a like single quote is different the closing single quote is different here it's really difficult not just for you only of course for me as well like i will also not be able to identify that this a single quote is the tilted one and trust me like when you many times it happened that people copy this x path from such kind of editor like they write x path here in editor sometimes it happened many times it happened they go back to their editor they write the script like this driver dot find element if i write this y dot x path and they paste the value here use send keys let's say we want to enter some value here selectors of enter at gmail.com and if i execute this script let's see if we execute this script what will happen and such kind of queries comes come to me a lot like after wasting hours of time people has come to me that our path is not working though everything is correct we have verified uh, in selectors of it was working there but now when i when we are using it in our script it's not working then i have found that people what they did after verifying in selectors of sometimes what they do like they copy x path from here they paste it here in the notepad they change something like they wanted to change something and meanwhile you do the change this single code got converted to the tilted one and if you will paste this x path in your script that will fail and here you see that the script has failed saying that is not a valid x path expression failed to execute the document this the string this is not a valid x path expression so here it says that this is an invalid x path so here you we will have to use vertical one now if you will execute this <laughs> it will work so basically x path doesn't support the tilted quotes you are supposed to use the vertical one now you see that it has entered the value here and script passed successfully executed successfully and good thing about here on the selector sub it will show you the correct message that what is wrong in your x path in uh, 4.1.7 version onwards of selector sub selector sub supports the uh, this feature that if you will use the wrong single quote or double quote in your x path selector sub will give you the information the proper error message that x path doesn't support tilted quote use the vertical quote and suppose like in place of this single quote you have used the tilted double quote here <coughs> like this and if you will paste this x path selector sub will tell you that tilted double quote is not supported use vertical double quote so here you can replace this so this is how selector sub will help you to get to know about uh, what kind of quotes are supported by x path which will help you in your learning and as well as you will not be wasting a lot of time just to figuring out whether uh, what is wrong in your x path because with the bare eyes you will hardly anyone can identify that there's a this is a tilted quote or a vertical quote in our script written so i hope you learn something new today and you can see the uh, like because we have never observed 
I mean, of course, this is the human nature and nobody is going to, we generally doesn't observe. I have observed this thing because I have been there in this uh, expat and selectors industry for uh, quite a long time. And I used to keep observing such things because that's my field area of interest. And I used to work on that. <laughs> so, so I'm trying to figure it out such kind of like minor, minor things where uh, we as uh, like our testers and developers waste a lot of time just to identify those things. So I'm trying to figure it out these small, small, minor mistakes and things so that it, these can help you guys to save your time and energy and you don't make any mistake and sometimes like in interviews as well i have seen a couple of my students and people have informed me that uh, it has been asked in our interview that uh, what kind of ports are supported so i hope this will help you guys to learn something new i would request you please uh, like this video and let others know about such kind of concepts and uh, if you want to learn more about these kind of concepts here i have created a Udemy course as well with the deep concepts on XPath, Selectors, uh, Shadow DOM, iFrame, etc. Like covers each and everything, whatever possible could be all complex automation scenarios under this Udemy course. And this is available absolutely very cheap prices. So go and take this. Today, like when I'm creating this video on 4th January, it is available with the 87% off. So please go and take this course. This will really help you. And if you want to join my live training, of course, you can uh, register here under selectorsup.com. Uh, There's a training tab. Just register here for the training and you can learn from me directly all these concepts. With that, thank you. And do check out more tutorials on Selectors Up uh, YouTube channel. There are really good conceptual videos I have created. So you will learn a lot about this to check out what's there new in Selectors Up 4.1.7. Today, when I'm creating this video, the latest version is 4.1.7. So do check out that. And lots of good tutorials are there, like <coughs> how to automate closed shadow DOM, in, which is inside open shadow DOM. What is the difference between tag, dot, normalize space? So all these concepts, the different kind of automation concepts you will learn. I mean, complex automation scenarios you will learn and the fundamental concepts of X pass selectors you will learn. So do check out these tutorials. They are really, really awesome and very helpful. And you will learn something new definitely with each and every tutorial. With that, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.